If you're listening to this video, I assume that you're a year 11 or 12 student preparing to apply to study natural sciences, veterinary medicine, or chemical engineering via natural sciences at the University of Cambridge. Or maybe you're a year 13 student who has already applied. Or perhaps you're neither of these things and are simply down some strange internet rabbit hole. Either way, you want to know how to ace the Natural Sciences Admissions Assessment, or NSAA. Well, you're in luck. Here, I'm going to be telling you my eight top tips for acing the Cambridge NSAA. So without further ado, let's get into my top tips. Number one, start preparing well in advance. This sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised at how quickly that exam comes round once you get into the chaos of year 13. The exam is usually taken early November, so I would recommend starting your preparation maybe around August time, since you'll have A-level work to focus on once school or college starts back in September. Number two, read through the specification thoroughly. The University of Cambridge helpfully provides a specification containing all of the content you are expected to know, understand, and could be tested on. This is important because remember that not every student will have taken the same exams up to this point. For example, different countries around the world have different qualifications. Furthermore, not every school, even within the UK, will have taught the exact same A-level content up to the point of taking the exam. This means that you can't assume that you will have covered everything on the exam specification. However, since it's mostly based on applying GCSE content in ways of which you're unfamiliar, you'll most likely not have to learn too many new things. Number three, have a go at as many past paper questions as possible. I cannot stress this enough. The style of question asked on the NSAA will be unfamiliar to you. So the absolute best way to be prepared is to practice using the past papers. These are all available online, also provided by the university. Tip four, make sure that you're registered by your school well in advance of the test. It is your responsibility to ensure that number one, your school is a registered test center. If it's not, your school can apply to become a test center. There is a deadline though for this, which is usually at the end of September, or you can find a different test center. Number two, you are registered for the test. You will need your UCAS number for this. And number three, you have your candidate number, which is also proof of registration. All of these things can be done by speaking to the exams officer at your school or college, and more information about the registration can be found on the admissions testing website. Tip number five, practice under timed conditions. Multiple choice tests are notoriously difficult when it comes to the timing, and the NSAA is no exception. The timings are different for each section, but the long and short of it is that you don't have very much time per question, only one and a half minutes in section one. This means that practicing some of the past paper questions online under time conditions is really good practice to get a feel for the pace that you need to be going at in order to make sure that you answer all the questions that you can. I wouldn't recommend doing all of your revision under timed conditions, however, as this could be a little stressful, but certainly work up to it once you feel that you have an idea of the style of questions expected. Tip number six, practice your mental arithmetic. Every candidate is required to complete the maths part of section one, and this is done without a calculator, as is section two. This means that any and all calculations need to be done in your head, but you will of course have a pencil and paper too, so it's not completely mental maths. A lot of students struggle with this, so I would definitely recommend practicing extra mental maths as part of your revision, if you think that that might be a weak point for you. Tip number seven, don't stress. Remember that the NSAA is not a pass or fail exam, and admissions tutors will not completely disregard your application if you don't do as well on the day as you could have done. The NSAA is only one part of your application to Cambridge and will be looked at alongside all of your other work, such as your exam grades or teacher assessed grades, predicted grades, personal statement, SAQ, and references from teachers. There is no minimum score that you need to get. So all you can do is practice the past paper questions, remain as calm as possible on the day, and try your best. Finally, tip number eight, contact Oxbridge Mind if you need any extra help. The team of experienced NSA tutors 
at Oxbridge Mind, who all sat the exam and went on to study at Cambridge, is here to help you. If you feel like you would benefit from some extra help in your NSAA preparation, I would definitely recommend reaching out for a one-to-one -one session or lesson with an NSAA tutor who was in your shoes not too long ago. I hope that helps and that's all from me for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and want to unlock the rest of the course, which includes over 1,000 NSAA questions, 20 hours of NSAA tutorials, and work solutions to all the past papers, click the link in the description below.